that that was actually kind of scary, dude. Uh, Master Mario almost came in with the uh, reverse 3-0. Oh, that's what went down? Yeah. I wasn't following the whole yeah, set. Rich, Rich Brown was up 2-0. Oh, dang. Master oh, Mario's been dang. stepping up a lot lately. Yeah. Actually, he's like been starting strong in Ultimate overall. Like He had that start up like, that come up in, at the end of Smash 4. Right, right. And he's just kind of been continuing in Ultimate. Dude, you know he, he got double eliminated by Olimar today. Yeah, he, he, he lost to a Chilean Olimar in winners. So he, he lost HB2. to HB2, HB2 yeah. and yeah. then he lost to Rich. Rich Brown, yeah. <laughs> Dang, that's a rough one. Dang. That's tough. I feel, I, you know, much love for Master Mario, dog. When, when you get double eliminated by Olimar. And one of them happens to be from Chile. So, like, he's not even normally here in the first place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one to swallow. Yeah. Pour one out for your boy, Master Mario. Gotta get used to it, though, man. Olimar's a problem in this game, bro. Oh, yeah. A uh, very big problem. This character can do a lot of things. But, I mean, we're, we're about to see some more Olimar here. Rich Brown coming into... Oh, this Luger. is gonna be... I'm, this is a curious match. Uh, so, I've actually talked to Rich Brown, and he actually is, uh, dislikes fighting the Belmonts. Oh, okay. A lot. I've never seen this match before, so... I, I actually don't think he's gonna play... Oh. Wait, who else does he have? Does he have Mewtwo in the game? No, right? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I from what like I talked to him at SoCal Mewtwo's Chronicles, so and he he just didn't like it to the point where I was like, man, he, he probably has a pocket for it, but I guess not. I guess he's just all more all the way. It's like I'm gonna completely dislike this matchup, but keep playing it because Almar is that good. I mean, oh, and they started Yoshi's game one. This is like a zoner. This is a zoner set, bro. Like <laughs> they agreed to Yoshi's game one. Right now. Rich is getting bibbity bop. <laughs> like, yeah. no, no better way to put it on. <laughs> Until he rolled into that and didn't even let him reel in. Okay. Dang. <laughs> he was getting bopped until he like turned it on real quick and realized, hey, this character can't recover. I just gotta hit him out of a double jump and yep. let him get the ledge. The drop zone fair, very nice from Rich Brown there. Oh, wait. Oh, my. oh man. Alright, calm down, bro. <laughs> Wait, no, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta mention this. What? No, I have not here today, but Rich Brown decides to come. There's always an Olimar. There's always an Olimar. You, you know, I was actually talking to Jump Steady, and he was just like, yo, man, people actually be thinking, like, SoCal is about that Olimar life. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, man, maybe we are, dude. We're no, starting. we're no, we're not. It's a new era, man. Don't you dare <laughs> even say that. Oh, oh, that parry was nice. He needed to parry because purple on shield is broken. Oh, yeah. Especially without parrying it. Break your shield. Oh, oh that, that angled up. Yeah. And the temper. All right. All right, mm. Nitro. You got some nice angles out here. <laughs> that was great. I yeah. like that. Fox ain't the only one that can do these angles, man. You got the, got the, the nice whip. angles. Yeah, the, the whip angles, dude. I want to see every possible angle on the whip. It's probably a redundant amount. I'm not going to lie. So, I mean, right now, this, this line on... Oh, oops. that was so tricky, bro. I thought he was doing up smash. <laughs> I couldn't tell. It was yeah. so fast. Yeah, and he got the fast. slight charge. Yeah, too. and it was only slight charge, too. Yeah, that was a very good mix-up from Rich Brown here. And, wow, Rich Brown actually, surprisingly... I mean, I, I've i never even seen this matchup play, like, this matchup play out. So, I, ooh, man, he was so close to getting that tip forward smash. You know what's uh, interesting enough is uh, I do know Nitro is also from IE. I don't know if he's in the same part of IE as I'm hip, but I imagine if they both frequent IE tournaments, they I oh, played. Dang, you, but oh, jeez. You can't be normal. Come on, guys. It's, it's month number two. We, we, <laughs> we, cannot, don't, we don't normal get up versus Victor anymore in month two. Come on, man. In no, January. Come on, guys. In January 28th. No, we, we can't be normal get up against the Holy <laughs> Fire, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that does <laughs> that does end up being a forward smash tipper. Yeah, it's funny enough. A lot of people don't realize you can just a lot of the times they throw it out preemptively. So you just wait for it to be over and yeah. use your invincibility frames to get through the last part of it. Right. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> and just like that, man, dude, Nitro has brought it all the way back. Okay, no normal get up. So no, that means no forward smash here. Down throw. What's the follow up here? Ooh, Ooh, the, the chase fade down. back. Yeah. Still got a double jump. Nope. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, you double jumped. All right, let me hit you again real quick. <laughs> yeah, and Nitro actually had to use that directional air dodge just so he could even be in range of recovering, but yeah. Rich Brown had the coverage there. Man, that was two bur purple backers back to back. You know what's great about that? Rich doesn't even have to actually hit him. All he has to do is stand in between him and the ledge. Oh yeah, so that's it, right. So he just hits himself. Like he doesn't actually, it's like a nest, like a, a nest game recovery Dang. type thing. But, you know, you gotta put some extra pain on it, you know. When Ness has a better recovery than you, feels bad. I mean, right, I mean, Ness, 
air dodge is really broken right now. Direct air dodge. All right, so that was game number one. I, Rich Brown had a very convincing lead, and it was actually kind of getting scary there towards the end. So I, I feel like even though Nitro didn't necessarily win that match, give him a good amount of confidence coming into the second game. Yeah. Do you know who Nitro's like bracket was to get here? Because I know Nico had that early losers run. Deep. Uh, I, and I know like Nitro did. I know well that K Swiss upset Nico. Yeah, and winners. Right. Ooh. Okay. Good. Oh, Getting out of there. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure who took Nico out of the losers bracket. You know, not sure. Like, I don't know what it is. I never get to see his losers runs, but every time I step up here, he's in a deep part of losers somewhere, either in losers finals or losers semis. Yeah, and I'm I'm seeing a lot more of the Richter more than the Sonic. I, I mean, Nitro yeah. known for co-maining uh, the two, but I, yeah. he might have, as of recent, be oh oh that wow, was that good. was yeah really yeah, good. that was a really yeah, good really mix up. Yeah, he almost actually got the kill there too, but too bad that move like never kills. If you do it, that only, it only kills off the top, I guess. Well, like, not even off a of, like, or, not yeah, even off yeah. a hit confirm. Oh, yikes. oh, what? His tether I, didn't even reach. Yeah, That's just, just. I actually feel like he could have made it back if he upbeat maybe. Oh dang. Yeah, early upbeat. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, Still so got that holy fire S smash. That's such a cool confirm, even if it is kind of cheesy. It, it just looks so cool. Like, it's that PK Fire confirmed, dude. Yeah, but it's blue. <laughs> and it's okay. a bottle. Many take this. <laughs> take this. And this. And this. Even though it's the same thing, <laughs> take it again. <laughs> okay, we got the double up air coming out from Rich. Ooh, gonna catch the landing there. I get so scared whenever he goes that low. I just think his life's over. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like life is endangered right now. <laughs> All Rich has to do is get between him and the ledge, man. Ooh, jumping oh. right over the cross. Okay, another oh. forward air. Not a good position here. No double jump. Oh, he does have the double jump. Wow. I I'm really surprised Rich didn't uh, opt to go out there for him. Yeah, especially since he was getting that uh, double jump so consistently the last game. Okay, rapid jab. Gonna get him out of the corner here. Gonna set up the cross. Take Ooh. this. Ooh. Dang, right into that forward smash. No tipper though. But uh, maybe another one by the ledge. I mean, Olimar is very yeah. light, so oh, you've got to oh, be yeah. careful. I, I definitely think that's strong enough to kill at this point. But you're so far off stage, Rich. Why'd you do it? Man, I think Rich is still has like a confidence booster at this point. Like, he, he knows he's not coming back, but like he wants him to feel it, you know? I, I think at that moment he had the double jump. Oh, ouch. What? Ouch. Did, I, I wonder if the... Because I, he probably just hit him while he was just hanging too long, so that, that was a really good play on Nitro's part. But I wonder if like the fire even like nipped him while he just hung on too yeah. long, you know? Yeah, it seems like you can still get the right angle to hit them while they're on the ledge. Yeah, especially when they're at high percent. A nice DP coming out from Nitro. Oh, okay, what's the combo setups. here? Ooh, no follow up, up smash out of shield here for Rich, but no follow up from the up smash. Oh. Wow, that axe destroyed that yeah, purple. That, pick. that purple guy. He got monster. <laughs> You don't belong in this <laughs> one. <laughs> he just throws the axe. Richard's so cool. And that's the one interesting thing about, that I love about the cross. It's like one of the few projectiles that comes back, but like it comes back to you, but it doesn't necessarily come back to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it just comes back in that direction at the same level. So Nitro actually like sets up above the cross, even though it's it, and it covers underneath him as well, which yeah. is really interesting. It's really good for potential seal break setups too. Yep. That's the thing about Richter play. I'm more into, I'm seeing it. The more I'm starting to see that you use the projectiles mainly to lock them down, and then you can go from there. Right. And so, ooh, the purple. The, the purple snipe. The revenge of the purple. <laughs> He's like, you gonna throw an, an axe at my Monique? <laughs> I'm gonna throw a Monique at you. It's so funny because every time I've seen that in slow mo, it's so far off the screen that yeah. Yeah, I actually don't see the purple Pikmin. But that time, it zoomed <laughs> in on the purple Pikmin, which is just so troll. Like that's and they have the little spatial animations too, like <laughs> yeah. when they hit you. Oh my gosh, this character! <laughs> Can you believe that this character is top tier in a game like this? Like we have freaking yeah. demon witch, like literal god, like. All these freaking crazy characters, but like top of the food chain is is yo the is plant stubby homies little, though. Stubby little astronaut with his plant friends. The know? plant homies, dude. Damn. Wow, Richmond actually opts to throw out the red. I mean, I guess reds are the worst in this game? Question mark. I like yellows used to be really bad, but they're really good for comboing. Yeah, like off of like up smash. The extended hitbox on that smash helps a lot too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I have to go back in the lab for the new like new Alomar. Because it seems that a lot of it, uh, I don't know, I see different Almar mains prefer different things in this game. Oh yeah, I mean, 
like most top tiers, there's gonna be uh, you know you're gonna have a lot of options, so you can you can play it in many different ways. Yeah. Good shields on the uh, Pikmin throws there, and we saw the Pikmin do bounce off the shield, which is a really big change. Oh homing my, attack. Yeah, yeah that, that new homing attack is life right here. Oh dang, but he kind of an overextension, but Nitro still able to make it back, still even get a swing off as well. Yeah, he went for the homing attack there because odds are he would have killed. It's actually insanely strong. Oh, the whistle, but oh, oh my he's like whistle for this. Yeah, and this, that pressure strides was just I like insane. It. I we like saw him, all uh, the three aerials just come into place. Even the whistle on the first one just didn't stop Nitro at all. I just like that he just found some use for up air because that move just be. This is not the business in this game, I'll be honest. Like, you be whipping the second hit of up air and then oh, get yeah. under you. Like, last week that actually happened to him. He had, like, a up, uh, spring up air and the second hit whipped and it went under him and he got, like, up aired by Fox and died. Ah. Uh, oh, man. I, I wish would I say I pour I one out for Sonic. Nah, no, man, no, no one's going to pour one nah, out for Sonic. Bro. I already know everyone's happy about the Sonic <laughs> nerves. I'm not even going to front, dude. <laughs> Alright, so the, the karma for Sonic is coming in hard in this game, but he's still cool. He, like he's, I, I actually think he's still pretty good. I think so too. When that, he's up there, decides attack. to work, and that homing attack. Oh, jeez. Oh, he tried to carry him off with the forward air, and man, just like that, Nitro just closing in the gap. And look at that, man. That was like two or three openings. Oh, but speaking of openings, Olimar gonna get his up smash in, and these up airs are just gonna start racking up the damage. Dude, that homing attack is so quick now, and like I just like the stun that it has. You look like you can mix up the timing of it too. Either yeah. like an instant homing attack or like a hold down one. But oh my gosh, that other smash yeah. covered like behind him as well. Oh yes, Olimar's up smash hits behind him. He just, he just <laughs> flings those Pikmin. He's like, get away from me, get off Such me. Such a strong attribute about the move. And I was actually talking to Jump Steady today, and he he uh, he brought up a very interesting point. He said he feels like when he's playing against Olimar, it's like a game, like a time game, because the oh. later the stock goes on. The more purples they have. Yeah. So it's just like, oh man, like now I'm <laughs> dealing with two purple Pikmin right now. Like this is so hard. That's why it's always important to make sure you get rid of the lineup. Of yeah. course, it's also hard too because while you're using that like unsafe move to destroy the Pikmin, the Alamar is like, all right, cool. Now I'm gonna get a free backup punish. squad, dude. Yeah. Alamar got. He, he may not seem like it, but he's actually very versatile in this game. Up smash that move. <laughs> like yeah. it's so good. We just see Rich Brown doing so he just much dumped, damage. Look, there it was again. He dumped the Monique only to get punished for throwing out a laggy F smash. Yeah. Like, you killed the purple, but he got punished anyway. Yeah, and, and that's why I think just constantly putting Olimar off stage is going to be like your your uh, key to success almost because that's when they've got to start tossing the purples defensively or just tossing them to get like less weight on them yeah. so they can up B. So, it, I mean, there's definitely like... Oh man, it's, it's not like there's no counterplay, but it's still really difficult. And right now, only one purple on the lineup, but right now, Nitro is beating so is all hard. he needs, man. That single purple is all he needs to get this top. Yeah, so Rich Brown. powerful. That pivot is so good. Yeah, that was just really good pressure coming out.